So eight keys to eye health and reduction of macular degeneration and eye problems. Let's talk. We're going to give you eight of these and break these down. Eye conditions are on the rise, skyrocketing. I think some of the theories behind this, a lot of screen time, a lot of tech time, a lot of oxidative stress, a lot of drugs and chemicals being used, more than we've ever had in history. A lot of factors to look at why our eyes are worse now. I think the screens have a huge thing to do with it. So we're gonna talk about eye health in general for preventing eye problems, but specifically if you get yourself into a position where there's macular degeneration, you have a family member that has had it, you've seen this, you start to get spots and there is blank spots in the back of your eye in the retina that make you have patches of vision that just don't exist anymore. I've had many patients over the years with this. If you had a family member, you know what I'm talking about. Or if you're dealing with this, what can we do to try to slow it down? But more importantly for the rest of us, how do we prevent these eye conditions in the first place? Years down the road. This is like multiple years in the process of getting to this point. Macular degeneration is a degenerative eye condition, which means it would be no different than degenerating a disc in your back. You can't get it back. It's degenerating the eye. And there's some specific things that do do it. Some of the warning are, are lifestyle factors that affect it. Poor diet. We're going to talk about this. <clears throat> Nutritional deficiencies. Diabetes. Because of the small little teeny blood vessels in your eye, if you put more sugar into your blood, you are making it harder on those blood vessels. Smoking. Stress. Extra pressure in your eye. Poor sleep. Big factor for eye health as well as poor lifestyle choices. Now there's two types of macular degeneration. There is dry macular degeneration, much more painful, itchy and irritable, and wet. Dry makes up about 90% of the cases. We're gonna focus on conditions to help that. Way more common. So let's break down eight natural solutions to help your eyes, prove your eye health, prevent macular degeneration, or if you're in the middle of it, what some of the research shows might be beneficial to get you some improvement and relief. Number one, decrease inflammation. Degenerative processes involve inflammation. Degenerative processes involve inflammation. So we need to look at, is your body producing too much inflammation? Inflammation itself is an okay thing. It's your body healing it. But if it's constantly in the healing mode because you're constantly creating damage, that's a big problem. You can measure it through CRP, uh, lactate dehydrogenase, homocysteine, platelets, just to get an idea of where inflammation is at in your body. I would be paying attention to that. I would be paying attention to liver health, AST and ALT. If your liver is bogged down, you're creating a lot more inflammation. Your insulin levels are struggling. We'll talk about that in a moment of controlling those because insulin and sugar make inflammation worse, but it, inflammation friendly lifestyle. If you don't know what that is, what to eat, but to be doing on a daily basis to do that, the Living a Daily Lifestyle members area has an entire breakdown of specifically how do you control inflammation without NSAIDs and aspirin and these things, and what can we be putting into the body? How do you eat to have an anti-inflammatory friendly lifestyle to remove inflammation so there's not more damage on the eyes, the joints, any of your area of your body that you don't want degenerating? Number two, lower stress. Stress creates more inflammation. We've gotta have techniques on a daily basis to be dealing with this because it hits us all from so many different angles in today's world. Studies show that lack of sleep increases the stress, that makes sense, but it also directly ties into this study specifically, the chances of macular degeneration. So we know lack of sleep, more stress, but you might not have known that that leads to macular degeneration over time. So this is where eye health and sleep come in together because you're stressing the system more. You're straining the system more. So breathing techniques taught in our Living Good Daily Challenges, also in the Living Good Daily book, very crucial for controlling stress. There's adaptogenic herbs that can be used to control stress, rhodiola, ashwagandha. Those are found in the de-stress supplement. If you're anxious regularly or dealing with mental health conditions and depressions, the calm supplement is a good option to help not only sleep better, but help during the day to decrease stress levels if you can't avoid it. A stress-free lifestyle, definitely gotta dig into it. The Living a Daily Lifestyle is there to help. Number three, decrease eye strain. Constantly being on these, blue light, rough on the eyes. Studies are showing that kids are absorbing blue light at a much higher level than adults. 
because of the generation we're in, they're exposed to it so much more versus our natural sunlight. Blue light is tech light and it makes the eye strain more. So at night, there's a setting on your phone. If you have, depending on what phone you have on mine, you can go to uh, it's night vision. It'll turn it to yellow to save the eye. So there's a setting, go to your settings on your phone, go to the brightness. You'll be able to look in there and switch to nighttime when it detects that it is very dark out, it'll switch it to yellow for you and remove some of that blue light. You can get filters on your computer. You can wear blue light glasses if you're doing a lot of computer work to ease the strain that the light puts on the eyes. Taking frequent, frequent breaks, that could be as simple as looking up and trying to look into the distance to help the eye be so focused on this nearsightedness, right? that you wanna take a look and look far away to help just switch your eyes. Exposing your eyes to sunlight, yes, is an okay thing. Now, prolong, just like sunburn. Uh, we don't wanna overdo it, but allowing you to take the sunglasses off and get a little bit of light. You ever done that? And your eyes are like, oh my gosh, it's so bright. They're so sensitive to sunlight. Not a good place to be. So if you're in that position, you've gotta ease your body back in to be able to handle sunlight. Don't overdo it, just like burning the skin. You want some good sunlight, but you don't wanna overdo it. So this, that's what the sunglasses are for if you're out in it for a long period of time. But taking care of your eye health takes a lot off, takes a lot of pressure off of degeneration over time, especially macular degeneration. Number four, lower insulin. Liver toxicity increases vision issues. The number one cause of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is sugar and insulin. So when we're over consuming, especially, especially fructose, getting into our liver, it bogs it down, it makes it fatty, and then that is directly tied to the health of our eyes, probably because of the synthesizing of vitamin A, which we're gonna talk about in a little bit, being one of the reasons, let alone the toxicity. So liver health matters. Proper detoxification through the Living and Daily Detox will help that out with uh, supplements like glutathione and milk thistle to help. We'll talk a little bit more about nutrients specifically for the eyes, but those two would help the liver in lowering sugar levels. The Living a Daily book gives the guide step-by-step step of how do you get your insulin under control and use the power of fasting to help do that. Number five, lower inflammation. My favorite two, omegas and turmeric. In fact, I put them together into one supplement. The omega turmeric, studies show it reduces macular degeneration, EPA and DHA. That is, sorry, vegetarian-based people. It's EPA and DHA, which is going to be found in food sources, uh, excuse me, animal sources like fish. So fish oil specifically, high concentrations. The one I make has really high concentrations of EPA and DHA. It also contains turmeric, which are very good, both of them, for macular degeneration prevention and eye health in general. Number six, zinc. Zinc slows the progression, shows studies of macular degeneration. You can take up to 50 milligrams of that a day was the research. Now I hang more around 30 milligrams. I would rather absorb more of it using uh, its friend, quercetin, to get it into the cells. Because you can take more, but if you're not absorbing it, it doesn't matter. Uh, and so, and then you don't imbalance other minerals, but zinc has been shown in studies to inhibit, inhibit activation of age-related macular degeneration. How about that? Let alone boost our immune systems. Number seven, vitamin A. Carrots, right? Taught to eat carrots for our eyes, it's true. Your vitamin A, how it processes vitamin A or your body does is very important. That way, that means if your liver is bogged down, you're not gonna process it very well, directly linked to macular degeneration. But vitamin A has been shown uh, to prevent it. It's full of antioxidants and it helps to activate the nutrients that the eye needs in order to thrive, as well as number eight, lutein. Lutein is an antioxidant specifically for eye health, been studied many times and that affects macular degeneration, decreasing it, keeping the eyes healthy. Lutein, vitamin A, zinc, omega turmeric. Great line of nutrients to get in if you are struggling with eye problems or if you have a history in your family of macular degeneration or if you're in the middle of macular degeneration, that's what I would be adding in. There are your eight keys to eye health, eye health problems, preventing macular degeneration. If you need help getting started with your lifestyle, liver, the insulin, grab a Living Good Daily book. There's a link right there. We'll send you one for free. Start you down this journey to understand your health problems, get to the cause so you can experience real health. Mm -hmm.